checking traps in a pond behind a business park parking lot in Issaquah. Oh, uh, we got two over here. Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife's Max Lambert says scientists are seeing signs of an invasive species on the rise. Within just a few weeks, five or six of those ponds had African clawed frogs in them, and it wasn't just a couple, it was hundreds of frogs. These are a lot different than frogs you might be used to seeing. They're really slippery. Now, in just a few days, they actually had about a dozen go inside one of their traps, but they believe there are hundreds more inside the pond. They're unique in shape. These are pancake aliens. So they're very flat. They got the kind of helmety shaped head and these big thick legs and their little, you know, funky pincer sort of arms. In size. Bigger than the size of my hand. Um, one of them that we've caught was, I mean, the heaviest I think we've caught is uh, 130 grams. And in their success as predators. They eat a lot of insects, the native insects, which are good forage food for our fishes and our amphibians. Um, they will eat tadpoles of our native amphibians and salamanders, and they'll eat our fish. That includes young salmon, which nonprofit Trout Unlimited works to protect. They can spread diseases, um, and they're just voracious eaters. So the concern was with the kokanee fry and the chinook fry. Later, people kept them as pets. That's now illegal in Washington, but it still happens, and people setting them free is causing them to populate here. Fish and Wildlife is asking owners to stop. If it's in captivity, it's a one-way street. doesn't go back outside. In the meantime, they hope partnering with local property owners, volunteers, and researchers can help them learn more about how and where they're spreading and how to get them under control. From Issaquah, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.